Lord, she's ahead of us. She'll pick up the remainders. We're going to hike out. And we're going to head over to Temple Bar and rent a boat and upright and see what we can find. And that's what they did. They hiked to the top of the trail. Riffy was up there. They borrowed a Chevy. They burned around the Temple Bar. They rented a little boat. They up ran Lake Mead. And they ran into Georgie with the kitchen boat. <laughs> and so they took out some food. Georgie gave him a high five. Said, take your boat into Temple Bar for you. And she did. And they spent two days looking for their other boats. Now we know the gems sank. Look, 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 you know, got it. But the Susie R, they did find. And there's Fulmer and Riley bailing it out. And so Pat got his boats back, and Fulmer didn't. And it wouldn't be six years later that he finally went to Boulder City and looked at his boat. He already clicked an insurance on it, so he said, well, that's okay, you can have it. <laughs> but a testament to the friendship of these guys, 1959, Pat Riley invites Multi Fulmer back to come with him one more time on Pat's boats. And it is the last time, because Pat's boats are falling apart. After so many years of wintering and fan one year, the fiberglass patches on patches on patches. Where the bottom meets the sides, that whole section of boats was just falling apart. So you'll see it in this film when they sink Riley's boats at Pipe Creek. So that's the film you're about to see. I'm going to tie up some loose ends now. The gem, um, Hazel Clark and Jim McCarthy, um, and of course the folks at Special Collections Great Canyon, very helpful, let us in there with the <laughs> sort of, you know, uh, respirators to clean up all the stuff. And what we were able to do was get this boat up on a cradle. And the Park Service came in with a forklift, scooped it up, took it out, and now it's with the other park boats in special court in the uh, warehouse, Park Service warehouse. Here are all their other historic boats in the Grand Canyon Historic Boat Collection. So that was really fun. One of the things we were able to do once we got the boat cleaned up was capture the lines of the original boat. That allowed us, with the incredible help of a guy named Bob Goforth and his wife Beth out in Parks, the incredible garage. Um, to build a replica, life-size replica of, of Fulmer's boat, the Gem, which we were able to take down Grand Canyon just this last December, January, where Doc Myers came in and met us. This boat was a dream to row. Um, I, I can't tell you. Listen, I, I'm close by. You give me a hammer and, and, and some wood, I can make a boat. But if you give me designs to a Cadillac, I'd make a Cadillac. Whoa, what a fun Cadillac to drive. This was a really fun boat. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Northwest, Dave Mortensen, remember Mortensen, he and this guy, Ian, they're building replicas of, this, of Riley's Susie R. and Flavel, not using fiberglass, they're using wood. What we're intending to do next year, uh, Mortensen's permit, is to go down the river and match these photographs of their 1950s river trip. We did a little bit of that photo rematching this winter, and I'll just show you a couple of those pictures. This is looking down on the mouth of Tapete's Creek. 1958. Look at all the sand on the right. Watch it all disappear. Then and now. We'll do one more of these. This is uh, the mouth of Deer Creek. This is now. There's our little gem boat on the left there. And uh, we'll just slide in a picture from 1958. Wall to wall of water. Multi and Janice had an incredible life. They moved to Phoenix, Sun City. Um, then Riley showed up, and then Harvey showed up. And uh, they all knew each other. They had a great time down there. Um, Fulmer played uh, Scrabble quite a bit with, uh, with um, Harvey and Roma. Uh, it was really, really fun. 1979 was the last time that Multi and Janice, they ran to San Juan and High Juan. So an uh, incredible couple. So with that, I'm going to do a little bit of magic here because I can't just click the button to bring up the film. So I'm going to hit go.
call them river runners, right? <laughs> Oh, 